This week on Outdoor Bound TV. First, we travel to Northern Ontario, Canada on a fly and fishing trip with Mike Serwa of Hatley, Wisconsin. On this trip, Mike will be in search of Northern Pike. Then we make a mid-October trip to the Black Hills where we try to help fulfill one man's quest for trophy elk. What a fish. Early bird gets the worm. That's what you come up here for. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews and Vortex Optics. I'm going to be just like my dad. Strong like him, smart like him, and now that I have my mission menace, I'm going to be a bow hunter just like he is. This bow is my beginning, my future. This is my mission. Featuring an advanced perimeter weighted dual cam system, the Mission Menace provides power for the hunt and adjustability to fit any beginner, young or old. Visit missionarchery.com to find an authorized retailer near you. Mission by Matthews. Don't let this hunt be your last. The tree clamp by Safe Tree Outdoors is as easy as set, snap, and strap. Simply secure a tree clamp to any hang on stand. Set it, snap it, and strap it in place. The tree clamp is the safest, easiest way to hang any stand. Set, snap, and strap. Order your tree clamp at safetreeoutdoors.com. Kalins has been catching multi species fish for over 30 years from our crappy grubs, to our seismic series of hybrid swim baits and grubs, to our jerk minnows. You can't see that jerk minnow, can no, you? He, he. To our garlic and salt impregnated wacko worm. Oh, that's a Kalen's wacko. Our premium line of Kalen jig heads. Oh, and our original Kalen's grub still does a pretty good job too. Fish, look at that Kalen's in her mouth right there. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. When we think of doing a fly-in fishing trip in Northern Ontario, we think of quiet, pristine lakes filled with golden walleyes. But for Mike Serwa of Hatley, Wisconsin, his passion burns bright for a little different species of fish. So let's hop on a float plane and meet up with Mike, who's already on the water north of Armstrong Station, Ontario, right now. You know, a typical structure to find fish is a, that's like a little rock bar with some reeds coming in. So the weeds this time of year are just starting to turn green. You can see a few green pencil reeds coming up. So they're relating to that kind of structure. I'm fishing a weedless spoon so I can retrieve it through the, the reeds without getting hung up. It's got a nice slow action to it so you can fish it kind of slow jig it a little bit if you get a follow. A lot of times you'll not necessarily, the fish are not real active, they'll follow your lure in and you gotta entice them a little bit. Oh. Kinda depends on the day and time of day. 
seems like the fish get active closer to noon here. You don't have to be out at the crack of dawn. You're fishing them, uh, you know, have a nice lazy breakfast and get out and get on the water by 10 o'clock and usually by midday is kind of your best fishing. It's a feisty one. I like to get them a little worn out so they're a little bit easier to handle in the boat. Sometimes if you're lucky, they'll spit your hook right at the side of the boat and you don't have to... He's hooked good though, he ain't coming off. We are up in Northern Ontario uh, on a flying fishing trip. We drove from uh, central Wisconsin up through the Pigeon River crossing in, on, into Ontario <clears throat> and uh, stopped in Thunder Bay for a few essentials. And then it was north to Armstrong, which is about a three hour drive north of Thunder Bay. We met up with Ryan Brady, our uh, outfitter. He's from Northern Post out, Outposts out of Armstrong. And uh, just a beautiful plane ride in from there, about an hour north of uh, Armstrong. And then you get to go fishing for a week. This is a Johnson Minnow weedless spoon. And a little wire keeps the weeds from hooking your, getting in your hook. And then I like to top it with a little white tail. Gives it a little more action in the water. Kind of a bowl, little bowl shaped end to a, a deep area. So they uh, get neck down and on the edge is kind of some bull rushes of the deeper water. I got one playing with it right now. Here, let's see if I can give him a bite. Here. There you got him. And the fish kind of found this area yesterday. There's one over there. Pretty well stacked up in here. And a nice, nice mix of walleyes and northerns. And nice, nice sized northerns. Ready? You watch when they flare their gills out and open their mouth, that means they're about ready to do the shake. Well, we were, uh, we found a little cabbage patch here, so we decided to fish it. And we were getting some, some walleyes and a few northern. And uh, I decided to throw my jig, see if I could pick up a walleye. And I hooked this northern. Unfortunately, I got him hooked right in the side of the mouth, but I don't have a leader on here, so. He's in the net. We'll measure him and see what he is. He's a little over 30, I would say. Long, skinny guy. 30, probably get 35 inches out of him. So we'll get him back in the water so he's good to go. Don't go away, because we're gonna be right back after these messages. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral and HHA Sports. Two seeds. The results speak for themselves. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. 
and the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. The sun's out, and at Kobe Chrysler Center, we're going topless. Imagine the feel of wind in your hair as you cruise in your new Jeep Wrangler. Jeep Wrangler, the exceptional 4x4 whose capabilities breed unstoppable spirit. Join us for the Jeep Drive and Discover event and get great savings on a variety of new Jeep vehicles. One drive and you'll discover why Jeep brand is one of Kobe Chrysler Center's most popular choices. Welcome home to Kobe Chrysler. Hi, I'm Tim Rue from Rue Motors. Whether work or play, we have the Kubota tractor or RTV for you. Rue Motors has been serving central Wisconsin since 1947 with a full line of quality Kubota tractors, mowers, and RTVs. Backed by four generations, you can count on the staff at Rue Motors for outstanding sales and service on all of your quality Kubota products at both convenient locations. Rue Motors, take the short drive up Highway 45 in Burnhamwood or Anigo. You know, each year we receive thousands of photos from our viewers of animals that you've harvested and fish that you've caught. And we'd love to share them with you here on the show. All you have to do to be eligible to win is email us your photo or share it with us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And this year you can win some great prizes once again just for sending us your photos. Prizes include an assortment of musky lures from Nasebaits, a Yeti cooler from Petrick Service Station, a trip for two aboard the Grand Illusion 2 charter boat on Lake Michigan, and this year's grand prize, a four-day, three-night fishing vacation at Sunset Cove Resort on Lake of the Woods, Ontario. And remember, all you have to do to be eligible to win is send us your photo with your name and your hometown. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. You know, growing up in the Midwest, most of us as hunters dream about the opportunity to head to the western states and be able to hunt for bugling elk. For Rick Fawning of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, it looked like this dream may go unrealized. Until a chance meeting a couple years ago at a sports show and a little help from an organization called Outdoor Adventures for the Physically Challenged, we get an opportunity to help this hunter realize his dream. My name is Rick Fawning and from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I started hunting as a seventh, eighth grader. My father gave me a Remington 22 automatic. The first squirrel I shot hung in that tree and I had to shoot it a couple more times to bring it down. And he's the man that took me on my first deer hunt as a sophomore in high school. Walked me back to a swamp, said, I put your mother here Three years ago, she almost got ran over by six deer. I'm going to my stand, you sit down and shoot a buck. I got my name in the newspaper the next day. Rick Fawning takes the first deer of the season. <laughs> Early morning, opening day. The finest and best whitetail deer I ever got was 1977. 100 yards, 11 pointer with a 20 inch spread. I was so proud of it. I got pulled over by a county sheriff in my 70 Challenger. I got out of the car and I said, well, what did I do? He said, oh, nothing. I just wanted to have a look at your buck. <laughs> I've never done any hunting in the West. It's a wonderful location. Hills with woods and valleys with grass where the deer feed all day and the elk feed all night. And it totally impressed me. It's like the Ponderosa.
This hunt came about when a friend of mine, Ron Matthews, showed up at my house and said, Outdoors Adventures is looking for disabled people like yourself, and you have a good chance of possibly going out to Wyoming and hunting for elk. And I thought, well, that would be great. He said, go to the computer, fill out the form and send it in. And I did. I've never seen an elk in the woods. That changed a lot when I came to Wyoming. That evening, Kurt took me to the middle of a field with a dead tree waiting for the elk to come down out of the top of the hill in the wood line and show up in the field for evening dinner. This is my first day hunting in Wyoming. I've never seen an elk before in the woods. I'm hoping today will be the first. The weather has been very nice. It, uh, it doesn't seem like the 10th of October, but it is. I enjoy the scenery, I enjoy the ranch, and the people that put this on. And I love every second of it. Hopefully it's my best day ever. I joined the Marine Corps and uh, started May 28th, 1968. And I spent one year in Vietnam, the year 1970, from Christmas to Christmas. The third day I was there, we had a rocket attack and a hut a few away from me was blowing and three guys died. One of them I had just played cards with that evening. Going past the end of the runway where there were body bags with gentlemen in them. Heading back for the United States. Coming back from Vietnam, we were considered baby killers. There were protesters there were students getting shot, and it was a terrible experience for me to think of it, to remember it, and to live with it. Five years ago, they went down to my esophagus and found two cancer balls. They found six balls that weren't cancer and removed all of those. But, a couple of months ago, they went down into my esophagus again and found two cancer balls that were not removable. And I had my esophagus removed. I was to live five more years until they found cancer in my liver and gave me six months left. Right now they're doing chemotherapy on me. So perhaps I've added more months my life. A bit after six o'clock, Kurt says, ah, there's noise, they're bugling. Perhaps they're on their way down the hill. And sure enough, here comes the first big doe. She walks away and stops, walks away again and stops, and then continued on. And here comes 35, 40 elk following her down the hill.
my goodness, there is a huge, huge bull. This particular elk had six on each side. See him? He's standing there looking at us. See him now? Where? Way on the left. Yeah. You get up. Well, what happened next was I got him in the middle of my scope and he was behind a fence post and a log that ran between the two and they ran across the center of his body. I could not shoot. I had to wait. Wait till he moved far enough to where there was an open shot, and there was. I think that whacked him. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. oh, his head's down. It was excellent. It brought a tear to my eye. Came out here and hunted this morning in the hills in Wyoming. Saw some on our way back. This evening we came out to the edge of this field and watched them come down the hill just before dark. And there was enough time to take the six by six boy out. In Wisconsin we call them 12 pointer. Here they're six by six. Anyway. Finally, a first shot at this baby put it down right on the ground. I broke his back from 185 yards away, I guess. Seeing elk and killing a bull surprised me compared to the white-tailed deer I've seen in Wisconsin, where they usually don't run by packs. You could see four or five of them together. Here there was 40, 50 of them, cows, yearlings, and a couple of these boys. This one went down. I'll tell you what, the hindquarters going to Ron Matthews who set me up with this. More is going to Patrick O'Brien, my friend for life. And the rest of it's going in my freezer. <laughs> oh, makes me cry like a baby. But here I live, and here I will survive. And Wyoming is a great state, and I'm loving it. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Brew Pub Pizza and Nays Baits. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. Nays baits, durable, effective, unique. The must have fishing lures for every musky angler. Crank it, rip it, fast or slow. Our flagship Livid Fish brings them in again and again. 
Put Trophy Muskie in your boat with Naze Baits. Go topwater with our tin head. From deadly slow to an all-out sprint. Naze Baits. Get it done. Check us out online or pick up Naze Baits at a retailer near you. Since 1957, Meyer Buildings has offered full design and project management for your farm, equestrian, commercial, and storage building needs. Our recreational building line specializes in the design and construction of affordable, remote area buildings for the outdoorsman. This is my second Meyer building. I've been satisfied both times. Their design assistance, the quality of the construction, and their attention to detail is perfect. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, we offer custom building solutions for all of your building needs. Log on today for a better way to build. Big Bear Down. Whether you're looking for a sweet recipe for bear bait or quality bear scents, we've got you covered. Big Bear Down offers all their bait selections by the bag, the barrel, or in bulk. From crushed sugar cones, trail mix, and granola to our syrups, frostings, and bait toppings, we've got the variety to keep the most cautious bears coming back again and again. Big Bear Down scents can be used as an attractant or cover scent and draws bears in from miles around. Look for Big Bear Down by our distributing at two convenient Wisconsin locations or at a retailer near you. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by the W.C. Russell Moccasin Company and Golden Hawk Canoes. Hey everybody, you just got a chance to watch Rick's hunt from Wyoming. Now this hunt was put on by Outdoor Adventures for the Physically Challenge. It's a nonprofit organization based in Wisconsin that specializes in returning disabled hunters back to the field. They have a ranch set aside in Wyoming where they do antelope and mule deer hunting, and then a second ranch that's dedicated to just elk. If you'd like to be considered as a candidate for one of these hunts, log on to the website listed on the screen, fill out the brief application form, and maybe this will be you sitting behind a beautiful elk like this next year. Folks, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Outdoors bound. So do try this at home. Well, yes, I did. Onward and upward. Outdoor adventures, uh, outdoor bound will be right back. No internet, no emails, You're just out fishing for the day, so. Outdoor bound TV is what it's called. That's what I like about it. Well, not necessarily. <laughs> did that work? Mm -hmm.